Okay, welcome back to Action Figure Imagery Tour Reviews, everyone. Today we're having a look at All Elite Wrestling AEW Brandy Rhodes figure in the Unrivaled Collection. However, this is not the original release of the figure. This is a reissued figure. Um, and you see it earlier. She's the fifth figure in the line from the first wave, but... Jazzwares has since re-released these the first wave figures and with new details by the way uh, the second wave of the first wave is supposed to be more detail and as the case with Brandy as it was with, with the others you see the inside of the packaging as you can see she comes with no accessories it's a figure only and there's a picture of her on the side of the corner right there and the AEW logo and you see Brandy with sledgehammer, even though she doesn't come with a sledgehammer, her husband, Cody Rhodes, comes with a sledgehammer. Which you'll see in a bit in a slideshow. Double or Nothing is the name of the pay-per-view event. This picture was taken May 25, 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada. And you see the other wrestlers at the bottom that are in this series as figures. And as you can see right here. She's the fifth figure in a line. Alright, now let's have a look at Brandy Rhodes outside of the packaging. Okay, folks, here we have Brandy out of the packaging. Brandy Rhodes. And let's see, let's get a closer look at Brandy. I got her standing perfectly right now. Is um that's the only flaw of the figure. Other than that, she's a perfect action figure. The only problem I have with this action figure is that um, she's she has trouble standing. You gotta pose her a certain way to make her stand properly without falling. Uh, other than that, uh, excellent action figure indeed. Um, I forgot to point out a mistake that uh, Jazzwares made um, on the figure uh, with the pack packaging. Um, let me go back to the packaging. Uh, if you look closely at the packaging, um, she's wearing sleeves. If you look closely, these are sleeves, and there's the um, sleeve right there. And these blue things are attached to uh, um, a flesh tone shirt that she's wearing. However, the toy makers at Jazzwares, uh, like they made a mistake. And they put these things on what appears to be on her bare skin, which is a mistake by the company, but that's okay. That can be overlooked. It's still pretty cool. Um, but she's supposed to be wearing flesh, flesh, uh, a flesh-like shirt. But anyway, uh, that's that. Let's look a closer look at the figure. Let's look at uh, Brandy's articulation. You see, well, let's look at the features first. As you see these things right here, they look like snakes. I'm not sure what they are nice designs and thigh high um, boots or garments and you see the high heel shoes you see the heels uh, if it wasn't for these they'd make her tough to stand without falling and get a closer look at her face her hair and um, even if you notice uh, it's hard to see on the internet but she has purple right here and purple right here on the ends and purple right here in this vicinity right here in her hair it's hard to see on when you see it on the internet but when you have the figure in hand you notice those things um, nice detail with the fingernails of uh, brightish orange like fingernails painted and now let's look at her articulation let's start with the head you can move her head all the way down like that that far and the back upward head movement is going to be restricted a little bit because of the hair she can still move up however the hair makes it uh, a little tough to move a little bit more upward okay and of course she can move her head side to side uh, arms outward and you can and she has articulation right here to pivot at the at the shoulder and you got 
articulation at the elbow and the swivel at the, at the wrist and the diaphragm frame you can move back and forth twist it around turn it around with the diaphragm frame alright the waistline you can move around also you can twist the waistline okay she has a mid thigh swivel right here you see that line right there at mid thigh swivel and then the next point of articulation comes at the kneecap at the knees bend the knees back that far like that and then the next point of articulation is a uh, upper I guess you could call this ankle right here little swivel right here you twist it around next point of articulation is right here at the ankle this, this is kind of hard to do those joints are kind of tight right there so you can probably pull it forward but it's very hard to do I don't want to break it but that's um, that's Brandy's articulation and you got the details of the figure and this is a nice figure like I said my only complaint about this figure is um, getting her to stand properly without falling Okay, now let's look at Brandy Rhodes' uh, slideshow, the slideshow of the figure. Okay, folks, here's Brandy Rhodes in a slideshow. And there she is inside the packaging. And as you can see, as previously mentioned, she comes with no accessories. There's the um, left side of the packaging, I think, right there. You see the All Elite Wrestling logo. And you see her on the back of the packaging with Sledgehammer, which I think belongs to her husband, Cody Rhodes, fellow wrestler. You see the double or nothing on the back, and there's the right side of the packaging right there. And you see again that she's the number fifth figure in this line, in the All Elite Wrestling line. There's a close-up view. And series 1, version 2, as you see the V2, which means that... This is definitely a variant of the original figure. And there she is when you remove her out the packaging. And one of the few figures in this line that actually has no accessories, uh, no extra heads or extra hands or um, belts or anything. Just figure, figure only. There she is out of the packaging, profile view, and there you see how tall she is, it's a little bit over, just a little tad bit over six inches, however I think she'd be below that if it wasn't for the high heels, so actually, um, there she is with her husband, I, just, uh, I decided to be creative in this photograph, I had him holding hands. But as I was going to mention earlier, um, as you see, he has a sledgehammer in his hand. But I was going to uh, as a close, closer up shot of the same view. But um, as I was going to mention earlier, um, if it wasn't for the high heels, uh, I think she would be a little bit shorter. She would be under six inches if she was flat-footed. The high heels definitely increase her height and make her a little taller. And there you see the purple. If you notice, she has purple in her hair. I flash to put the flash on my camera so you can see it better. Uh, I, that's one feature I did not notice. And she also has purple on, up front too on it at the at her, at her ends. If you pay attention, uh, look closely. I did not notice that at first from seeing the figure online, and uh, I did not notice that until I had the figure in my hand and saw these pictures and looked back on these photos that she has purple in her hair. And there's a right side view and back view. Uh, you can't see the purple in her hair uh, from a distance. You gotta get up close to the figure to see the purple. And left side view of Brandy. And I had to, as you see, I had to adjust her legs to make her stand properly without falling as previously mentioned the only, uh, and there she is with the hammer I try to pose her like she is on the back of the packaging. But as I mentioned earlier, um, only 
downfall about this figure is, um, she is the hammer again, is you got to adjust her legs to make her stand properly without falling. Uh, other than that, adjust her stance. Uh, the figure is perfect. It's a perfect action figure. It just She just has trouble standing um, if you don't adjust her stance a certain way. And there she is again with Cody Rhodes again. There's the back of the packaging. Scan image. And next up, uh, I'm going to make I make some comparisons between my attempts at trying to pose her um, exactly the way she appears in the back of the packaging with the hammer as you'll see uh, the comparison shots there is the comparison the first comparison shot right there and you see the difference between how the hammer looks at, on a toy and how it looks on in real life and there's another at another angle and the comparison shot Okay, folks, that's it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, everyone have a blessed day, and we'll see you in the next video.